Hey guys, welcome back and happy Sunday. Today's video is going to be all about how to get out of a bad mental place. Stay tuned. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal type of videos. I'm going to be talking about how to get out of a bad mental place, but I'm going to be combining my own personal experience with my experience as a psychotherapist. Because like you probably watched in this video, I've also been in situations that I just can't seem to pull myself together. It can be due to mental exhaustion or going through a difficult life change. I think we can all agree that this year has been absolutely ridiculous. So whether you went through something hard lately like losing a job or the end of a relationship, or if you're just feeling down and don't know how to get yourself out of it, this video is for you. Let's jump into the list. So my first tip in helping yourself get out of a bad place mentally is to acknowledge that you are in a bad place mentally. And I know that this can sound silly, but there is so much power over the acceptance of our emotions. It is totally okay to be like, things aren't going good for me right now, and I feel really, really bad about that. Things are crappy. The reason for this is because when we push situations to the side or we try to numb them out, try not to acknowledge them, we're not actively dealing with them. We can't just pretend things aren't happening. We have to learn how to process through our emotions and accept the situations or how we're actually feeling. And this will teach us something called emotional habituation. The idea behind emotional habituation is that we habituate or get used to how we're feeling. We have to do this because as much as we wish that every day was awesome and positive, it's just not realistic to life and we're gonna go through hard times. So my challenge to you is that instead of trying to push away the bad and negative feelings is to actually lean into them. Acknowledge and accept that they're happening. Tip number two is to do a social media detox. Now, I made an entire video about the negative effects of social media on our mental health, so I'm not gonna get too much into that in this video, although I highly encourage it that if you're interested in that to make sure that you check out that video. Now, a social media detox can be one of two things. First, we can just go ahead and take a break from social media altogether. That means just deactivating our accounts for a little while. And also, I didn't find myself scrolling there and comparing my life to the life of my peers or to the life of people on Instagram. And as I discussed in my mental health video on social media, we always see the positive highlights of everyone's life, right? We don't see the stuff that's, you know, really going on under the surface or people's hard or bad days. So me not being in a good place mentally means that I log into social media and see everyone's great time, right? So me being in a bad place mentally and then logging on and seeing all of that was really difficult for me. So I just went ahead and deactivated everything for about two weeks and it was amazing. The second way that we can detox from social media is to go in and unfollow things that are bad for us. Because when we follow people or pages on social media, our brain subconsciously kind of absorbs all that information. And even without us trying, we are sitting there and comparing. And we can tell ourselves over and over again that what we see on social media isn't real. When we follow Instagram models, there's filters, there's Photoshop, that's not their actual life. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't see. But in the end, we naturally do this. We do a self-evaluation of us, and then we compare it to what we see online. And this is just going to contribute to that overall bad mental space that we're already in. So social media detox is my tip number two. My tip number three is to get busy. Get busy on a goal, something that you're creating, something that you can actively work towards. We hit goals that we set for ourselves and we achieve personal accomplishments that really enhances our feelings of self-worth. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel like we're productive. Now, this does not mean focusing and doing things 24 seven in order to numb out bad things that are going on in your life. That is not what I'm talking about. But setting realistic and achievable goals and then hitting those goals can have a very positive effect on our mental health. Even if it's something like starting a new hobby, something that you can create, something that you can build that's yours, it's gonna give you an amazing feeling of personal accomplishment and it's going to help you feel better. It's gonna kind of give you that reason to wake up in the morning if that's something that's, you know, you're struggling with right now. And I've been there too, I get it. So if you're watching this video and you're in a bad space and there's something that you've kind of always wanted to try, uh, something you've wanted to get started, now might actually be a good time for that. And it's also acting like an opposite action effect on what we might want to do when we're struggling because I know when I'm struggling, I, I don't want to do anything. I want to sit there, I want to isolate, maybe become absorbed in my phone so I'm not actually focusing or thinking about the things that are actually going on. And making myself work on things, work towards goals, can be really, really helpful and to prevent that isolation from occurring. Having something to work on, some sort of personal goal that you want to reach can really help you 
from that isolation or avoidance that you might feel like you want to do. So working on a project or a personal goal can really help that natural feeling of wanting to avoid and wanting to isolate. Thank you for watching this video. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really does help my small channel get promoted to more people. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the button below. I release two new videos every single week, and I would love to see you in the next one. Thanks.